Hi Diamond, in this video we are going to be looking at who is Tolu Udukoya Ijogum, the associate pastor of the Fountain of Life Church. So recently, um, the general overseer of Fountain of Life Church, Pastor Tao Udukoya, passed on, and um, his son, Jimmy Udukoya, was installed as the new general overseer of the, of the church alongside his elder sister Tolu Utukoya Ichukum. So we're going to be looking at who is she? Is she married? How many children does she have? Is she divorced? What has she been doing before this installation? So you guys know how we do it over here. Get your snacks, get everything, okay? And please like the video. And if you are not following us on Facebook, follow us on Facebook. And if you are watching on YouTube or TikTok, please subscribe to the page of the channel. Thank you. Our sponsors for this video is VT Pass Payment. With VT Pass Payment, you can make payment for your electricity bill right from your phone. You can also make payment for your DSTV Go TV. So whether you are in Port Harcourt, Abuja, Lagos, Benin, wherever you are in Nigeria, you can use VT Pass to make payments for your electricity bill. You could also make payment for your insurance bill. You could do a lot of stuff with this payment platform. So check out the pinned comment as well as my description box for the link to use VT Pass. So Tolu got married to Ulumide Ijokun 11 years ago. Now if you look at this publication that I'm reading, you'll see this is Bella Ninja. Love today, love today and forever. Tolu Dukoya and Olumide Ijukun wed. So it says, what a wonderful union. On the 3rd of November 2012, years after they met in secondary school, Tolu Dukoya and Olumide Ijukun were joined together in holy matrimony. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was a truly blessed day, filled with so much love. Tolu and Olumide's wedding ceremony took place at the Fountain of Life Church in Lagos. Today was a vision of classic bridal elegance in her lace dress by Pronovias. The full A line skirt, layers of tulle topped with rebroad lace and crystal embellishment of her dress were accentuated by her dazzling accessories including a statement necklace, diamond stud earrings and a dainty tiara headpiece. This wedding was the talk of the town that year. I still remember the orange um, native she wore on her engagement. It was beautiful you guys. Tolu had a beautiful beautiful um, wedding. So after she got married, um, the next big event we saw was her 30th birthday where they had this great Gatsby themed birthday party. It was really, really beautiful. And one thing I've noticed about Tolu is that she loves, she, she's a romantic person. I don't know how to explain it. She's someone who loves love. I don't know her personally, but she loves events she loves she she loves outlandish things okay just from um watching from afar so yeah we saw the birthday then kids started coming she started having children 
And in 2015, she celebrated her 30th birthday, right? Around 2017, there about certain rumors started circulating at the time. Because I still remember seeing those comments in those blogs that time that um, there was there were rumors of um, fighting between the couple at the time i personally did not really take it serious because you know how you just sit in the comment section and you'll be like ah i'm not too like i'm a boy like okay so now at this point please let me just give a disclaimer if this is not the kind of content you like i would advise you go and read your bible go and pray go and do something else okay don't come here and come and be asking me oh, what is your business it's in the public all right and this channel is a commentary channel so if you know if you don't like her go read your bible don't disturb me so at that time i was seeing all those blog posts and all this type of thing all these uh, nigerians now can't talk you know um in the u.s they have something they call blind items about public figures and celebrities where people anonymous people who are close to public people bring gist so to speak and codify their names um we in nigeria used to have blogs in those days but those things i don't know it's not really like before where there are certain blogs and forums that people will give you like the tea <laughs> and in america now they have the neighborhood um blog or something like that uh, this this now but uh, i read a lot of blind blind items like maybe i just had a blog like that you come and drop an anonymous tea <laughs> anyway so yeah so let's read um some of those um things but before before we go in that tangent let me just say this um so this is actually a very anointed person just you can't take that away from that woman and as with the anointing there's always a dark side of the anointing Take it or leave it there's always a dark side of the anointing and um, there's no perfect person we all must go through our own life issues every single person that's why i always tell you guys that on this channel we'll talk about things but i like to give grace to people i'm a person of grace and mercy because i know i have seen people up close fight their own demons okay so i i just love people you won't hear me talking about people from me the caustic standpoint because I, I don't know i just understand human beings and all of that so if you are leaving your comments please be kind all right but whether i will not give facts of things as is plain now we're going to do that because like i've always said i'm a scribe and this is the court of deborah all right in a courtroom you open up everything and we find a way to resolve things all right so yeah okay here's a narrow land blind item from 2017 that says about well, marriage feeling and somebody says yawns they gave divorced couples all this list and more went for pre-wedding counseling class went for marriage seminars etc a bimbo to koya's daughter no year enough marriage sermons when she divorced her husband because of tv a whole daughter of a marriage counselor mother counselor mother and preacher so somebody asks is to old koya a joke on divorced when or now another of our daughters somebody on the forum responds and says since now a divorce scandal trended on Nara land and many social media platforms now i'm not celebrating her divorce or happy that she divorced but my point is there's no particular rule to marriage it's either it works or it doesn't work if you are lucky with marriage fine if not all well and good anyway so that rumor was circulating because me, I, I remember seeing all this type of comments in the blogs around that time but like i said i did not take it serious because uh you know but then i 
in light of everything that has been happening, I just said, okay, let me go back and look. And I could actually see certain things. Uh, if you guys know that Tolu has a ministry. And I recall that then she wasn't really stable. I remember she started something called Verses then. And I used to wonder because I used to like it. But it wasn't stable. And then I would ask, like, why is this still not stable? I'll move on. I wasn't really into the women's ministry aspect of her life at the time that she was really, really actively running it. Because at some point, I personally just tuned off Instagram and anything with Instagram. I was going through my own life issues, so I wasn't interested at all. But um, in light of everything, I went to look back and I saw that the happy Tolu has this deep sorrow in her eyes that I really can't place it. Then after a while, uh, she stopped doing videos in her husband's house. And it looked as if she moved into her father's house for a while, for a couple of years. And, um, like I said, during the passing of her dad, it was very obvious that something was going on. Because, <clears throat> how come her spouse was sitting at the back? I even thought he was in there, so I went to watch it. So I saw a video where he was sitting at the back carrying their one of their babies. And same thing with um, Jimmy Odukoya's wife. And recently... She removed his name from her Instagram. Her ministry used to be Tolu Odukoya Ijugun Ministries. I think it's now Toluwani Ministries. So that kind of shows that something is going on. You see, on this issue of marriage, I always tell you that that's one thing that I don't advise people like. I can't just with you like if we if you meet me one on one I would sit down and just with you as a sister tell you stories like at the end of the day it's, it's your decision because when people are in love sometimes they don't feel advice person you know that kind of a thing and the fact that somebody is a pastor or a pastor's daughter doesn't mean that a pastor's son doesn't mean that they will not go through their own issues Another thing is that, you know the area that you are anointed for, eh? I don't know why, you, but eh, <laughs> it's usually that area that you would face the most attack. And um, I guess God allows us, all of us, even me that I'm talking, to go through different things so that we would all learn humility. I cannot come here and come and say, hey, why will she divorce her husband? Why will she do this one? Why did she not stay? I don't, I'm not privy to that. I don't know if she's actually divorced. But from my observations and my instincts, and my instinct is usually 95% correct. <laughs> That's why I don't have a lot of friends. Because if I just near body you too much i would know too much about you without you even telling me so i i stay on my own most times but one thing i one thing i'm assured of is that god would use our dark places you know how god uses things that are supposed to be like that's what devil wants to use to dent you you know that type of thing you know you're, but god will use that very same thing to glorify himself that's one that's because <laughs> since two days that i've been ruminating on this issue like okay well what do I, I can't come and say why we should because if really dv is involved i mean <laughs> i'm one of those people i'm not one of those people that we tell you that will be praying or no hey for we yeah. <laughs> god is the god of first second third fourth fifth chances that's what i believe and that's that's what it is I don't know what other people believe, but that's, I'm telling you in my mind. I, I'll tell you that these are my opinions. This is my own mind, okay? 
yeah, if you wish you want to, and you want to, I bet do and let us love it, talk and fish out. But I wish her well. Um, I, 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 to be honest, eh, I feel like she must have gone through a certain stage where you know, when you come to accept something that however God, however this thing is going to play out, name of God is going to be glorified. Because if you see like that Naira land, um, those people on Naira land that they were saying, how can the daughter of a marriage counselor and a preacher father um, be going through marital crisis? Marriage in a prayer. I remember when I was a young uh, person, I still, I'm still young, and they'll say, pray, pray this kind of prayer. This, this, I used to love them, but... As I'm now an adult, I realize that you have to pray. Everybody will face their own, their own. Some people, it may be childlessness. Some people, it may be lack of finance. Some people, it may be the thing they not job work. Some people, the man may be taken into drugs, alcohol. You see, the tribulation of life, you don't know the one that will come to your door but what the word of God promises us, it doesn't say you will not go through things. So it says even when you go through it, when you go through the fire, I will be with you. When you go through the waters, I'm going to be right there with you. Like God is always going to be a constant K, regardless of your own trials and temptation. And for you not to die in your trial, uh, that's the reason. You know? <laughs> because who died? I ain't know you lost. So. Whatever you do, see, I don't say now nah, just now, nah, now nah, come here, but let me just tell you whatever you do, don't die. Fight to stay alive so that you talk. God, as we talk now, we talk and finish. Yes, as we talk now, we, you know, some people now, if indeed Tolu left her home, um, her marriage because of DV, I applaud her. I celebrate her. If I see her, I'm going to hail her and say, Yeah, mama, go. <laughs> ah, yes, <yeah>, so. <laughs> God forbid anything happen to her now. <laughs> no, stay alive. Stay alive so that you two, you carry microphone and tell us your story. Write book. We'll read it. We'll host life program to say let's talk about uh, the story of Toulouse. see there's nothing new on that so i asked my grandma before she passed i said granny how are you would you live she lived to be 92 and she said i forgive myself i forgive the people that hurt me and i forgive myself I kind of was a bad dude, my mighty defense. I said, I ain't to do this. I said, I for it. As the thing they spoil, I move. <laughs> so, Pastor Tolly, if you ever come across this video, warm hugs. Um, I know that um, life is tough, oh, but um, every everybody's journey is different. You know, I was talking about Sarah Jakes. And it, have you guys heard Sarah Jake's story? TDJ's daughter in PA Given Bele at the age of 10. Ah. See, people they go through different things. Mom will not just talk. <laughs> Everybody gets their own. No. Which kind of temptation is that one? TDJ's woman that lose in PA Given Bele at the age of 13. That be said, the girl even go out to oh, inside their ballo for inside inside the ball of god's house and we were able to manage it and she said that because she felt ostracized because i used to follow sarah jake's blog in those days now she got to work for strip club see true life story she went to be working in strip club she got she didn't work for strip club so i tell you, she could have see one of the elders for the church inside the strip club one day and i was ah, see my pastor biki they say club strip club hey I now I go shout for her say, make could I go carry on a picky come up for strip club. Uh -huh. So now this is Rajik's now an idea of where they preach, they do everything. God will use and it's a scripture I'm trying to remember. I don't know if you remember right now, but the only thing I can tell you is that that thing that 
the enemy thought that they want to use to shame us. Is that Prince Emmanuel, a philosopher? <laughs> he said, God don't go shame us. That's, that's, just, that's, that's just what I want to say that. God don't go shame us. That's a job. Anyway, that's... I've been avoiding doing this video since morning. I'm so happy that I've, I've finally done it because I've just been like, ah, oh, God, I'm a dick. <laughs> no. But the only thing, the only consolation I have is that, and anybody watching this one might be like, oh, I'm discouraged. I'm be discouraged. Everybody has their own life path. That's why you must know God for yourself and know God through your own storms of life because this storm will come i'm not one of those people that will tell you that oh yeah child of god life is gonna be perfect hey guys i lie anybody will tell you that one i lie that's why the bible says that if your faith is small in the, if you fail in the day of adversity that means your faith is small that's why you must build your heart you know i watched one video where tolu was worshiping I always tell people this thing. You get some kind of worship when the person they cry for help. Now go to say now spirit the person they go. I said, uh, well, maybe it's because I'm gifted like that. So I see beyond people's facades. I watched that thing. I was like, hmm, this was not just, this was a cry for to God. There's a song that she sang. If you give me a reason. Lord, I will praise you. Something like that. Without a reason, I will still praise you. I'm sure when she sang that song, she was going through a lot. Because it will tell you that artists use their life and their pain to sing. You got alone. Something, something like that. Like, whether there's a reason, I'm going to praise you. And if I don't have a reason, I'm going, I'm still going to praise you. And I still go back to what Bishop Michael Kunko said during that installation that you will preach the gospel. That thing ministered to me powerfully because so I, I, at some point in my life, I say, God, your day, your day, leave me alone. <laughs> oh, Bishop Michael Kunko said, regardless of what is going on in your personal life, you are still going to preach the gospel. It's so powerful. Because when you... I'm, I'm a student of history. I'm a student of, um, of the apostles, of, of, of ministers that have come before. And there was none of them who had... They had drunkards. They had people who did all manner of things. And, and God used them. So, I will leave that one. If not, I could live on like that. I beg <laughs> I bet make I just end the video. So please you guys, um yeah, that you you know if you now know you now know, okay? So you know that uh, nobody's perfect, alright? So work out your salvation with fear and trembling and know that we are all some people that's their office. They are, the fact that somebody is called as a pastor. I don't know whether it was my husband that was saying it, I don't know who was saying it that the grace upon you is not for you. Is for the next person. It's for the people who you are called to. It's for the people who God has sent you to. You understand? They say the 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 pot that makes akamu is black. <laughs> so the anointing upon people's lives is not necessarily for them. It's for the people. While it is important that they your life is put together for your own safety and your own security doesn't mean that the people who you are sent who you are sent to will not be blessed by your ministry regardless of whatever you choose to do with yourself i saw a job you yeah, that's how it is anyway thank you so much guys um i will see you in my next video watch my next video okay bye